What's up guys, Davey here from phonebuff.com and in this video we're doing a speed comparison test between the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 here on the left and the third generation iPad here on the right. I'll start off the speed comparison test with a boot up test. Obviously this doesn't matter all that much when it comes to tablets because you know, you're not really going to be uh, turning them on and off all that often. But not only does it help me see, you know, which one boots up faster, but it also clears out the RAM in the background of both devices so that way the other speed tests have a uh, fair comparison. So of course this has the boot up animation and sound. On the iPad you just get the Apple logo. And there you go. So we see the lock screen first on the iPad followed by the Galaxy Note 10.1. Both of them are, seem to be fully loaded so you're going to give the win to the iPad maybe by a second. Again, it was so close and also that test is kind of irrelevant um, as far as you know when it comes to tablets. So that's the result for that test. Let's go ahead and go into the uh, test that we actually care more about, which is the application speed test. So I'm going to run uh, similar apps on both devices. Obviously, I'm only going to do the ones that are by the same developer. They're different OSs, so they're going to be uh, written a little bit differently. You might get different results, but nonetheless, it is a reflection of the experience that you'll get. All right, so for our first test, we'll open up Temple Run at the same time. So one, two, three, go. Saw the splash screen first on the iPad. And the game seems to be loading up a little bit faster, followed by the Galaxy Note 10.1. So pretty safe to say the win here goes to the iPad. All right, we'll go ahead and close it out. And I'll open up the next app, which is Flickster. So one, two, three, go. Content seems to be finished loading a little bit faster on the uh, Galaxy Note 10.1 than it was on the iPad. Let's go ahead and try to open up another movie. So let's do, uh, we'll do uh, Premium Rush. Actually, no, since I already wrote, loaded that. Let's do uh, Paranorman. So one, two, three. And that time I actually looked up like the, con the content actually looked to load up a little bit faster on the iPad. Let's go ahead and try a, another uh, movie. We'll do The Expendables 2. So one, two, three. Again, the iPad seemed to load up all the thumbnails like as far as these pictures a little bit faster. Uh, we are seeing a little bit more content though on the Galaxy Note, so keep that in mind. Um, for that test, I mean, pretty much when we're in the application, it seemed like the iPad was faster, but opening it up was a little bit faster on the Galaxy Note uh, 10.1. Let's go ahead and open up Google Earth. So one, two, three. And Google Earth opened up much faster on the Galaxy Note 10.1 than it did on the iPad. We'll go ahead and exit out because we don't even need to see any more after that result. And let's go ahead and go to Google Maps. So one, two, three. And again, seemed to render a little bit faster on the iPad. Of course, this is actually looking at a bigger area. So that might be a factor. Let's go ahead and try to look up a certain area. Actually, we'll do, we'll just type in Las Vegas on both. All right, we'll hit go at the same time. So one, two, three. And again, we see the map a little bit faster on the iPad. Uh, this guy's actually still loading and there you go. So pretty clear result, uh, maps is faster on the iPad. Obviously, I wasn't closing out the applications here on the Galaxy Note 10.1, so they are running up in the background using a RAM, where on iOS, the applications are paused. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reverse the test and go and uh, start all over basically with uh, each application to see how the multitasking is affected uh, when it comes to running the same apps. So one, two, three with Temple Run. And uh, was faster on the iPad this time. So even though you know they, they handle multitasking a little bit different, it was still faster on the iPad. We'll open up Flixer, one, two, three. Again, seemed to load up a little bit faster as far as response time. Uh, they're both loading up pretty much instantly, but uh, the iPad's animation seemed to respond a little faster. We'll go to Google Earth, so one, two, three. And this already has you know the map we loaded up uh, like we did earlier. So pretty much the same results for getting one, two, three. And again, so this seems like the iPad maybe responds a little bit faster. I'm not really sure if it's gonna be like faster as far as real world performance there. Uh, it's just the animation for the most part. So anyway, let's get down to the real test, which is the browser test, because ultimately this is the one that really, you know, tests the devices. And this is the one that really shows you as far as which uh, processor is more powerful. So let's go ahead and load up our first website, which is Phone buff. I'm just going to do Google searches and then tap the uh, Google results at the same time. 
All right, so I have Googled foam buff on both. I'll go ahead and try to make this link as big as I can so that way I don't mess up. So one, two, three. Seeing the content a little bit faster in here, actually this loaded up the main part of the page. We'll see the ads a little bit faster here. And that, that was really close. I mean, pretty much, you know, this loaded up one section of the website first and then this followed with another section and back and forth. You guys can be the judge of that. We'll go ahead and open up an article. We'll do this article right here in the center. So one, two, three. Saw the content first on the iPad. Saw the picture first on the Galaxy Note. So again, they're really, really close. Um, I, I honestly don't even feel comfortable calling a clear winner here because I'm looking at it through my camcorder's uh, little viewfinder and you know I have to watch it again and again on video to really be able to determine the winner. Uh, we'll go to another website. Hopefully there'll be some more separation. We'll go to uh, New York Times. All right, so I Googled New York Times. We'll make it nice and big here so I could actually tap them. So one, two, three. Saw the content first on the iPad and Looks like the iPad finished up just a little bit before the Galaxy Note 10.1. Let's go ahead and type on an article. So we'll do this first article. So one, two, three. So we saw, we got an advertisement actually on both. And as you can see, the uh, ad opened up a little bit faster. Let's see if we can skip the ad. So try to zoom in here. Well, it looked like I already skipped on here on both anyway. So that one loaded up pretty much at the same time. So as you guys can see, the results are really, really close. I think it really depends on which website you go to. All right, so we'll try to go to Engadget uh, next. So one, two, three, go. So again, we're seeing the content first on the iPad. Some of the ads over here on the right side, ad at the top. And it's done. So yeah, it finished maybe just a second or maybe half a second faster than the Galaxy Note. Pretty much that's been the theme. I mean, throughout from the boot up time, from the applications to the browser, for the most part, the iPad just seems a little bit faster. I'm not sure if that's hardware or software related. Obviously, this guy has a quad core processor. This guy has the dual core A5X. Um, let's go ahead and do a benchmark so we see what the benchmark says. We'll do the browser mark benchmark on both. All right, so I'll just hit run and I'll skip through the whole process so that way you guys could just see the final scores. All right, so both of the devices are done with the browser mark benchmark. Go ahead and show you the score for each. So on the Galaxy Note 10.1, we got 158,000. 188 so definitely a really high score on this guy go ahead and show you the ipad and the ipad scored a 98,321. now obviously it's a huge difference between the two devices uh when it came to real world tests seemed like it didn't make that much of a difference in fact this guy seemed to perform a little bit faster of course that depends on which websites you go to you know very may well be that you know a lot of the website you go to the galaxy note 10.1 actually loads them up faster um, honestly, when it comes to speed though, between the two, I'd have to say it's pretty much a tie. I mean, even though technically you give the edge to the iPad based off the comparisons that we did uh, earlier in the video, for the most part, everything was just maybe a millisecond behind or maybe half a second behind on the Galaxy Note 10.1. And uh, you really have to look at the other features of the device to really distinguish, you know, whether or not you want the Samsung Galaxy Note or if you want the iPad, you know, depending on the screen resolution, the RAM, the features, etc. But anyways, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button or the thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. And subscribe to the channel.